Hi everyone, it's Teresa from Teresa Sheridan Designs. In today's video, I am going to show you three different ways to add a downloadable PDF link to your website. So we often have things where we want to make accessible to our website visitors, whether it's a free giveaway or it's just part of a blog post and you want somebody to have access to a particular file or there's lots of reasons you want somebody to download a PDF document on your website. So um, some people aren't quite sure how to, how to go about doing that. So in this video, I'm going to show you three ways to get that done. The first way is with just an anchor text link. So that is just your words on the page uh, that are hyperlinked to the document. So in a WordPress website, when you add that media to your website, it wants to automatically add the file name to um, as the anchor text. So I'll kind of show you how that works. Normally, if you were going to hyperlink some text, you'd have some text on the page and you would just hyperlink or select it and then click your link icon and add the hyperlink. With a PDF document, it's a little easier to, to just add the media and create the hyperlink all at the same time. So in this case, you would click on your Add Media button. It's uploaded the same way you would upload an image. Click Select Files, and you would browse to where the file lives. And in this case, it's going to be my ebook that I give away in my free, in my um, email opt-in as a freebie. So it's uploading that. And you can see here you're linking to the media file itself. Um, ignore this because it's thinking it's a it's an image that's just a WordPress thing. Ignore the size. And then go ahead and click insert into post. And you can see it adds the actual file name and your anchor text is already um, hyperlinked and underlined and it's the blue color so you can tell it's hyperlinked. But maybe that's not exactly the file name or the anchor text that you want to use. You don't want people to see the actual file name with the hyphens in it and stuff like that. So your option here is to either name your PDF file exactly how you want the anchor text to appear or you can just click in here and edit this how you want it to look. Obviously, we don't always want all of the characters in the file name to be part of the anchor text. Now, what you don't want to do in this instance is select this all and then edit it because you will completely remove, completely remove your hyperlink. So you definitely want to just insert your cursor inside the text and edit it by using your arrow keys to go back and forth. The second way to add a PDF downloadable document is to use an image as in place of anchor text. Maybe you want it to say download now or get instant access or something like that. So maybe you already have a button that you've already made up and you want to use that. So in this case, what we're going to do is add that image to the page first. So with WordPress, you can, you can do that different ways now. If you have an Explorer window open, you can just grab your button and drag it onto the page, and it will automatically upload that image to your media library for you. And um, you can fill in your alt text. I always recommend that. Um, you know, I'm just going to put something here to explain what that image is. Um, we do not want any alignment. We want it to be on the left side of the page. And I'm not going to put the link in here just yet. Uh, for simplicity's sake, we're just going to go ahead and add the button to the page. And 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open our media library in a new tab. And we're going to click on our um, PDF document that we want to link the image to. We're going to click in the URL field here. Control A to select it all. Control C to copy. But we're going to go back to our page and we're going to select the image and then click the insert link button and type or control V to paste or right click and paste. We're going to paste that file name, the URL of that file name directly in there. And then we're going to go ahead and go to link options because we want this to open in a new tab. That way when somebody um, clicks on it, their screen doesn't change to the PDF file um, and take them uh, away from your website by opening it in a new tab, it still leaves that original page open in your website, which is preferable. And we're going to go ahead and click Update. And so there you have that link in place with your image. And going back to the text link, you would want to edit the link, click Settings, and do the same thing here. I forgot to mention that. Open link in a new tab. So the third way to add a um, PDF download link is, and this is the theme specific here, so some themes have the availability to do short codes, some don't. The theme that I like to use if you're one of my customers and we're already using this theme on your website, it's the ultimatum theme. And it comes with a short code generator that you can click by accessing this orange U icon right here. And this is nice because it creates buttons, but it's not an image. So uh, it's a nice option. So um, we're going to go ahead and click that icon. And we're going to select the button short code. And we're going to put for our text, we're going to put download now. And for the link, I still have the um, the PDF file in my clipboard, so I'm going to do Control V and paste that again. I want a large button, and I want my text color to be white. So here you kind of do have to kind of know your hex codes here, and I'm going to leave the text hover color the same. The background color, I'm going to select a deeper red because I like contrast and you might want to use um, your own color palette and whatever color contrast color is in your own color palette. And for the background button hover color, I'm going to go ahead and select a lighter shade of red. And we want this to open in a light box, which is essentially opening it in a new tab or window. And I'll show you that effect too. We're going to go ahead and click insert. And here you see the short code for the button. The short code is indicated by these brackets right here. And um, this is your opening short code and this is your closing indicated by the slash. So and you don't see the button on this, this end of it, but when we preview the page, you will see the button. So let's go ahead and click the preview and go to the next screen. Uh, so here we see our text link. And here we see our image. Now I have the styling on my um, website to put this border around all my images, so we'd have to go back and remove that. In this case, you may, may or may not have that styling set up on your website. And here we have the button, which is the short code button. You can see if you hover over it, it shows a lighter um, shade of the color. So if you click on either one of these two links, when you open, uh, click the file, it opens it in a new tab. And if you click on the button, it opens it in a hover uh, tab, which is kind of a nice feature. And here the people still have the um, options to print or download it and save it to their computer or whatever. So, and then they can just X out of it when they're done. So those are three ways to add a downloadable PDF file 
in your WordPress website. Hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. For more, please visit my website. And if you want to download the ebook that I was sampling in, uh, that I was using as in for this demonstration, you can also get that in my website by signing up for my email newsletter.